Yo, what up? Peace and blessing to the fam. It's your big homie, Jared. You're rocking with the Retro Insider YouTube channel. As always, thank you for checking out the content. And uh, if you are new, consider subscribing. I do a lot of these sneaker unboxings, a lot of New Balance, but some Nikes like the one we have in front of us today in this bright Volt colorway. So you probably already know what it is, but let's get right into it. I have the Air Max 90 in a size 12, my true to size size and uh yeah this is the shoe that released on wednesday january 9th and retailed for 120 bucks now as far as that release um nike sneakers has yet to release the men pairs so be on the lookout for the nike sneakers release which will be happening wednesday january 15th at 10 a.m eastern time so do the time conversion for your area if you are interested in copping this pair now i'm gonna give you a quick look and as you can see this is a dope dope shoe if i do say so myself now this is the og colorway so we all know that the shoe released back in 1990 in this same particular or fairly same look and uh nike celebrating the 30th anniversary of this shoe with the bang with the release of this particular og colorway and um yeah i really really do like it now i was fortunate enough to get this from champ sports and uh, like i said the shoe retailed for 120 i had a 20 dollars coupon which allowed me to get it for a hundred dollars so at this price point a must cop especially if you are a nike fan but if you're just a general retro runner fan this is one that you gotta have i know a lot of people like the infrareds which is another great colorway but this one is equally as nice if i do say so myself so i'm gonna give you a quick look around and as you can see it has the traditional mix of materials like this black leather which is smooth is it great not by any means but acceptable for what nike presents these days i mean what else can we do and then we have this gray which is like a new buck and a slightly darker shade of gray on this swoosh so um as far as sizing like i said i wear size 12 and that's very uh good for this particular shoe um i'm in, usually in between 11 and a half and 12 with some jordans like this jordan one i wear 11 and a half but true to size you can't go wrong with this particular shoe and as far as the comfort extremely extremely comfortable i remember getting my first pair of 90s back in like 05 or 06 with the black snakeskin pairs came out and that was a shoe i wore almost every day to school of course i didn't have a huge collection my folks wasn't going for that but uh yeah it was just a shoe that i could wear with everything and it felt so good so um this is no different you instantly feel the nice feel of this shoe and how lightweight it is and all of that good stuff now let me pull out this second pair so you can see another little special touch they did with this shoe and that is the um hang tag here so it comes in a volt colorway and i don't know if this came with the original shoe i wasn't even able to remember my you know nothing at that age uh back when these originally released so uh yeah but this is a nice touch in my opinion um please take this off when you wear it don't don't be that guy that wears your shoes with this on it especially no runner like please don't now the off-white tags we can get with i mean maybe but these take these off put them on your key don't even put them on your keys that's too much but just put them in a safe place <laughs> but anyways uh yeah so this is a great shoe and uh we talked about the og nature of this shoe now for those of you who are unaware of the difference which i was not until i actually had both uh two different models in the 90 in hand let me tell you exactly the difference so basically this paneling that you see down here this black paneling is about almost half the size of the paneling on just regular retro 90s and it just makes for so much better shape when it comes to just the look and the feel but yeah the, the slim nature of this panel right here just gives it a sharper edge and shape and it looks a lot better in my opinion now some of you might like the look of the other updated models but this right here i think this is the way to go so if you were on the fence about this sneaker hopefully this video shows you how nice of a shoe it is and like I said, my opinion, it's a must cop. So uh, I'll put a link to where you can get this from Foot Locker. 
And if I find any other links where these are available right now as we speak, I'll put them in the show's description as well. Now, as far as the full review, I'll have one ready here in the next couple days or maybe in a week or so after I spend more time with the shoe. But right now, there is a link to just the first impressions uh, page there if you want to read that and check that out. But uh, anyways, guys, in the comments, let me know what you think about these Air Max 90s. Do you think they are a must cop for you? Were you are you passing on them? Have you changed your mind? Any details that you want to give me, please give them, give them down. And I appreciate all the um, uptick and support from you guys, man. I want to do a separate video just thanking y'all for everything that y'all are doing, giving me words of encouragement, feedback, and all that good stuff. I greatly appreciate it. So um, hopefully this will continue to serve as a resource, helping you guys maybe make purchasing decisions or give you uh, just some commentary, some entertainment, whatever the case may be. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at the Retro Insider, Twitter, and then also on the Retro Insider podcast, which I think I'm going to be doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday format, giving you all the updates and such. So please, wherever you subscribe or listen to your podcast, check out the Retro Insider podcast. And uh, yeah, we got viewership, listenership in about 10 countries right now in about 14 or 15 states so add your state to the list if you don't mind um, like i said i'm going to be doing a lot more in 2020 as far as providing this content for you guys but until next time wait 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 before i go let me tell y'all this i forgot to leave this out here's a pair of the anatomical art supports that are also included in the shoe box now i think back when i got my first pair they had these so this might just be a normal thing for 90s it's been so long since i bought a pair but yeah but anyways guys that's about it hope you hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day or evening until next time stay humble and proceed